Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, in and earlier our, our uh, guest Sean McKelvey was talking about how just her election, which, you know, apparently Nancy Pelosi thinks a drink of water could have gotten elected in this district. I don't know if she meant defeat a member of her leadership team, uh, drink of water. That would not really um, reflect too well on Nancy Pelosi, that she is appointing someone to in grooming as a future House leader, a guy who could be beaten by a dr- glass of water. But let's put that aside for the moment. Uh, this glass of water came in and has altered our politics in many respects. The, um, as Sean McKelvey said, it's probably likely that we're going to get debate questions, certainly amongst the Democrats, about the Green New Deal. And... Um, I also want people to check out, there's a great uh, video uh, made by uh, Avi Lewis, I think is his name is, uh, Naomi Klein's uh, partner on uh, the Green New Deal, which is, uh, which is quite good. It's just going around. It's a little, uh, uh, I don't know if it's done through the intercept, maybe. Yes. And, um, but part of the Green New Deal is providing millions and millions of dollars to Kentucky coal miners and other coal miners. In fact, probably more than any bill that I think has ever been presented in terms of helping them make this transition. There is an awareness within the Green New Deal to the costs that will be borne by individuals in our society because of these transitions. And so uh, there is provisions in there not only for jobs guarantees, not only for um, pension support and health care support and retraining support for minors, among other people. There's also even a provision that says, like, you know, we'll provide support for minors who decide at age 55, like, I'm too old to start a new profession. I I just, you know, and I, 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 God, I can certainly understand that. Um... And so this is in the Green New Deal. And at one point, a congressman, a representative Andy Barr, that you remember, we played, I think, the clips of AOC responding to the charge that this is elitist, that the Green New Deal is elitist. And out of that exchange, um, Andy Barr, this congressman from Kentucky, invited AOC to come down and uh, visit the state and speak to uh, minors. And um, then she said, yeah, I'll come. I will come. And then apparently Andy Barr got a little nervous and was like, "Um, you can't come until you apologize to Representative Dan Crenshaw (coughs) For critiquing his attack on Ilan Omar. And for saying that he doesn't uh, support the... 9-11 respondent. Compensation, which he doesn't. Compensation, which he doesn't. And in fact, that came from somebody, uh, a fire, former firefighter who was trying to lobby him. This is what is known now as the Dave Rubin defense. <laughs> that is when you uh, basically accept or offer a challenge... And then you rescind uh, that acceptance or offer uh, for something that you have desperately searched around for to use as an excuse for not having that exchange. And um, here is um, on Chris Hayes' program, uh, Corbin Trent, who is uh, AOC's spokesperson, explaining why the Republicans rescinded this invitation. Joining me now is Corbin Trent. Good to have you here. Glad to be um, here. You're from that part of the country. You're from Eastern Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Um, why do you think the offer was rescinded? I think that they uh, understand that the policies that uh, Alexandria is advocating for are extremely popular, not just in the Bronx, not just in uh, on the coast, but all over the country. And I think they also understand, some of them at least, that she's a fantastic and talented communicator. And that if she goes into uh, their backyard and starts talking about Medicare for All, federal jobs guarantee, and a Green New Deal, 
that maybe they'll uh, have a problem come 2020. Is, is the bet here that you can, I mean, the bet here, right, is that like the actual policies matter and the policies will out in the end, right? If you're coming to people and yeah. saying, I want to actually, we, we want to make your life better and here's how we're going to do it, that that can cut through the kind of layers of cultural anticipation that's been built, built up. Yeah, and Andy Barr was saying that, you know, he wants to bring her down to Kentucky and let the coal miners tell her what's going to happen with the Green New Deal and how it's going to hurt their community, how it's going to destroy jobs. But what people in my neck of the woods and in Kentucky know is that their jobs are being destroyed already. Factories are closing, mines are laying people off. You know, we've seen that happen over the last several decades. And what they want to see is a plan for the future. And Republicans don't have one, and they know that the, that the progressives in the Democratic Party, that wing that uh, at least five people do have, and that uh, if we go out there and push that narrative out there, they're, I think, afraid that they're not going to have a rebuttal for it. First of all, I love the fact that AOC's uh, communications director is a white guy from uh, Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just because <laughs> that's like the 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 last thing that they would expect uh, and 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 want. And I I can't imagine that that's not a coin that uh, that's a coincidence. I mean, they're just they're just people. They're just it's a very smart. It's a very, very smart political operation they have there. They're just super smart about um, about what they need to do to to get their message across. And and that's basically it. They're afraid that she's going to come in there and it's going to be have the opposite effect is what they hoped. And um, we're going to see this during the campaign. I mean, this is this is one of the things that we're going to see during the campaign, I think, is when, you know, uh, AOC is going to go out there during at, at one point as surrogate for some people. And uh, maybe it's in the general, maybe it's in the primaries. I'm not sure. But she's going to be carrying a message and it's going to um, there's going to be infrastructure to get people out there.